Continuing professional development is one of the significant components of CDR. It demonstrates the learning activities of engineers and ICT professionals that they undertake during their graduation or after graduation. These activities are important to keep them up to date with the latest methodologies, developments and techniques that is relevant with their discipline. What should be included in a CPD? You can include any training that you have attended during your graduation or after graduation during your job tenure. You can include books that you have studied for improving your engineering knowledge, any journals that you have read or any paper that you launched, any seminar attended by you during a specific time period, conferences, workshops is also a part of CPD. So any of a any of the activity which enhance your learning can be a part of CPD. This is a CPD sample which is in tabular form. CPD activities must be written in table format and should be one pager only. In each column, the name of the activity that is training, workshop, courses, books should be clearly stated. Starting and Fin finishing dates are clearly elaborated. Duration should be mentioned. Venue where the activity has taken place should also be written and the name of the organization that carried this activity. 